exhibiting at Agora Gallery. I'm very happy to be showing here. Really interested in pulling out personality and, uh, and the most mundane subjects, making them more interesting. And that's basically what my, my art is about. This gallery is one of the best on these two blocks because it shows not only new artists, but it shows expressionism and abstract art how it was 20, 30 years ago. It's really nice to get out of the conceptual realms and into what the artists really feel. I think this, uh, this uh, place does a great job of it. Agora Gallery is wonderful. This is my piece, The Pigs, Pigs 3. It's, uh, comes from uh, experience I have farming in Vermont. I really care about uh, animals and people and their social abilities and how complex they are. Here in the door, guys, showing off the work. I painted three years ago. And I just started painting, just to, uh, I guess, get things off my mind. And I uh, just started looking into different artists, and that's what really inspires me. Just I try to I try to add different classical aspects of art, and then I try to add my own little thing to it. So that's what I've been doing. Uh, I've been doing the little guy on shirts and painting them, and a few people have been copying my stuff, so I came up with different little robots and new ideas. kind of just me more experimenting with different colors and and my emotions and how they look on the canvas but this one um, was a whole new step I kind of um, I think I've used a lot more colors in this painting than in other paintings and it's it, it was just exciting and I it's it's just a new part of me on canvas that I haven't seen before so but the the, sh the, the show the reception I love the family's here we're all very excited it feels very surreal we're pinching ourselves so um, I love it. It's An exhibition in New York. I'm very happy to stay here and I'm very, really grateful for the support of the Girl Gallery. I like to paint with much colorful colors. I like to say, yes, I like to live. in human emotions, mainly women. This piece is about the body and the soul, which we all have, and the emotions that lead us to, that accompany that concept, mainly. But the technique I use is mixed media, and I like to, to express the emotional part of the humans and also humans in doing creative activities such as playing violin or uh, dancers uh, that's not it <laughs> oh, oh, won't you come on give me more all I do is more, more, more through the day through the night I'm happy with the space because um, my paintings need a lot of space and distance and you can you can have that on top of it people can just you know approach the painting and even touch it if they like um, and I'm uh, very happy with this uh, with this exhibition it, it really looks uh, very beautiful everything for a smile don't play with me to be part of this exhibition. I'm mainly inspired by Indian textiles and um, or natural objects and rendering them um, such as flowers and plants. I'm also interested in their cultural context. Uh, I enjoy creating surrealistic work that has a lot of incorporation of symbolism. in New York, so I'm very excited. 
and I just love the city. And uh, Angeli Angela Di Bello and her staff has been just wonderful. And they have uh, been so professional and so polite, uh, making this whole process very simple for me. exhibiting with the Gore Gallery in New York. It's also my first time in New York and um, I really love it in New York. I think it's great. Uh, I'm inspired to uh, paint anything really. Uh, it's not just landscapes, uh, it's abstracts and most recently it's my, my latest work is Marilyn Monroe. insegnante di, al corso di uh, ritratto, digital painting e disegno creativo. Realizzo eh, i miei dipinti utilizzando materiali mm, di vario genere. metropolitan environment and to be able to show my art. Um, my art is landscape as you can see and it's very much about my own personal spiritual connections to art uh, or to landscape rather. Uh, the, all about the uh, various forms. come to this gallery and make this exhibition here. This watercolor was painted by, not by a, a photograph, it was painted by imagination. And I, I always do that. This exposition is completely different because the people are very interested pose beaucoup de questions, regarde de très très près mes tableaux et je pense que d'avoir intitulé euh, idiosyncratique euh, expression c'est très très juste pour moi. I couldn't imagine that painting. Um, because when I'm doing the other things, I'm painting in between. And uh, if I didn't have paint, I'd paint with mud. Um, you know, you just, uh, you have to create. And I love creating and I love, um, I'm very thankful uh, 
I'm my family is a constant inspiration. Um, I just they're beautiful. They're beautiful to watch, and I love painting expression. I love painting people and expressions. And even if I'm painting something like this, I want it to be peaceful. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus, and LinkedIn.